Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, it is time for 26 bread and butter bolos. Items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell for a decent profit. All of these items I sold on eBay for $35 or less. I call that my bread and butter. Typically, these items are easier to find. Um, I pick my items up at thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, um, Facebook marketplace, YouTube auctions. So pretty much we'll source anywhere, um, anywhere I can find a good deal. All right, you guys, my um, I keep my cost of goods pretty low. So I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it and what I sold it for. So we are going to get started here. And the first item, I, let me double check something here. Yeah. All right. I picked this up at um, a YouTube auction. So I purchased, it was actually um, a mystery box that I ordered from uh, Auctions for You. And I do have her link down below if you guys are in need of inventory. Um, T Auctions for You and Donatella Bottolino do uh, selling events on their YouTube channel. And it is a great place to source inventory. Um, so this came in a hundred dollar mystery box. It was all pretty much all new old stock items. And you can check out that video if you like. Um, I unboxed everything. I showed you how I listed everything. I showed you what had sold when I had uh, released the video and how I plan to sell everything else and what I expect to make. So go check out that. It was a super easy box because everything was pretty much new old stock. So they had like barcodes or um, I could look them up easily. All right. So this Snoopy, I ended up taking a best offer of $35 and the buyer paid shipping. So it's from 2001. It's the, um, it's a Barbie, but it's Snoopy collection. When you're listing Barbies, it's always important to put this number. All, I think all of them, all Barbie boxes have this on it. And if you put that in the title, that will help with the search. All right, you guys, one of my favorite things to sell is dollhouse furniture because it is so easy to sell. Um, this one is actually a replacement part and um, replacement parts really do sell. Um, you're going to see in this video and a couple others coming up a lot of replacement parts. So this is from a play school dollhouse. And when I got this dollhouse, it was not in great condition. This here is actually very faded. If you look right here, this is the actual color that it's supposed to be. But these dollhouses, for some reason, they fade. So they will still sell. Just disclose it. So don't let that deter you from picking it up. Now, somebody bought three items from me. They bought this. Oh, and right in here, do you see this number? I put that in the title as well. That is on the Play School items. Okay, so they bought, this is just a chimney cap. They bought this um, changing table. And this one's Loving Family. It's Fisher Price, so it's a different brand. And they purchased, here it is. This is the best part of the, the dollhouse. So this is actually connected to the Play School dollhouse. It's a 1991 dollhouse. This has a light on the top, a light on the bottom, and it plays music. And what I did was down here in the description, I included a video. Okay, so this piece can go for 40 to 50 bucks. Some people sell them for less, but I always price mine high. The person that bought all three of these in a bundle ended up paying $60.20 for all three items. Now, I do a multi-purchase discount. So when people add items to their cart, a discount is automatically applied and they get $5 shipping. So their total after discounts and everything with tax and um, shipping and all of that was $61.89 for all three items. The next item I sold came from the Goodwill bins. Um, and I've just been saying, I need to go back to the bins. I need some bins footage. Um, I love those videos. They're super fun. And I haven't put one out for you guys in a while. So if you want me to go to the bins, let me know in the comments, just write bins. So I sold this for the asking price or the sale price of $13 and 99 cents. The buyer was all in for $21 and 60 cents. Now this is just a major bread and butter. I picked it up because it was sealed. 
Um, I didn't really know if it was going to be anything or not, but it sold and I was happy with my return because the bins is by weight. So I probably had less than a buck in it. The next item is this Fiesta plush Chihuahua dog. It is, I think it's realistic looking. I think it's adorable. I saw this and I'm like, that will definitely sell. It's from 1998. So it is vintage. I got this at a garage sale for $1. It sold for $31 and 50 cents and the buyer was all in for $38.05. The next item is um, a big giant keychain, and it says for my loving wife, see if you can lose these. So it's just like a novelty type keychain. I picked this up at a garage sale. Oops. Nope. I'm sorry. I was thinking I got this at a garage sale, but it says that I got it at a thrift store. So I must be thinking of something else. So a dollar at a thrift store. I sold it for $10 and 49 cents and the buyer was all in for $16.96. This was a long tail item. It took a long time to sell. The next item I sold is this vintage overly raker Santa. Um, I picked this up at a garage sale for a dollar. He is just as cute as can be. Um, he sold at pretty quick, actually. And I really wasn't sure if he would sell or not. So I was pretty excited about it. I ended up taking a best offer of $34 and the buyer was all in for $47.17. I always include uh, photos of the tags, especially on harder to find vintage items. The next item came from a different, or no wait, this might've been the same one. There was a little baggie of toys um, in the new old stock toys that I got in my box from auctions for you. But I've gotten quite a few boxes from her, so I can't remember which box it was in. But this guy, you guys, I think I underpriced it. He sold super fast. Um, for $18, the buyer was all in for $24.90. And he even had this little defect right here where he, like his tooth is missing. I think I underpriced it because it sold like, oh, I think it was the same day or within a day or two. It was crazy. I was like, whoops, I messed that one up. Um, so it's a 1990 Mirage Bully Germany TMNT Splinter Hand Painted Toy Cake Topper. And it's just plastic. So um, I found another one that was like it. And, you know, there's a little bit of paint loss there. But uh, yeah, pretty cool, right? A cake topper, $18 plus shipping. This one came out of a mystery box and I almost just donated it. Um, it came inside of a wood box and I was like, that's going to be so heavy. So I just took the trains out, threw them in a Ziploc bag and shipped it that way to cut down on cost. Um, because you can pick these things up relatively, I think for a decent price, just retail, but because it's not a high end brand. So I didn't, I couldn't charge like 30 bucks for it is what I'm thinking. And I could be totally wrong. I Maybe they are cheaper or more expensive than I think. But anyway, this one sold for $17.50. The buyer was all in for $27.88. The next item I sold is this Heartstone Pottery Up on the Rooftop Mug. Um, I always pick up Heartstone. I have a weakness for Heartstone. It's, I think it's local to my area because I find them all the time. Now, this one is marked this way, Heartstone. They come with many different markings. So as long as it says Heartstone, don't think it's not um, legit because it has a different marking on the bottom. They changed up their stamp. So depending on the year it was made, it can be different. This one actually says this, um, it's stamped on it, which most of the time that's not there. This ended up selling for $20. I got it at a thrift store for two bucks and the buyer was all in for 38. The next item is this vintage Big Eye Girl address book. Um, made in Japan. I love made in Japan. And I was actually watching a video by Rachel Strickland last night. If you guys aren't subbed to her, definitely go sub her up. But she was um, showing an auction haul that she did. And she picked up an item that said made in Japan on the bottom. And she's like, shout out to Bolo Buddies, because I always tell you guys that I love made in Japan. So um, pretty cool. I ended up selling this for $24.50 and the buyer was all in for $33.69 and I got that at an estate sale for about a dollar. Here is another um, replacement piece from that uh, dollhouse, you guys. And I sold this for $15. The buyer was all in for $21.42 and I talked to you guys about um, the discoloration and the fading. This is what color it normally is. 
so you can see it's pretty um it's pretty faded but it still sold the next item is this Disney Parks Department 56. And I got to be honest, when I saw this at the Goodwill, I was like, Disney Parks and Department 56 home run. And I just bought it. And it wasn't that great. It only sold for $18 and the buyer was all in for $29.14. But I only paid six bucks for it. So I'm not complaining. I still made a nice profit, but was hoping it was going to be a big money bolo. The next item is this sweet little angel bear plush. It's got the fiber optic wings, you guys. It is darling. I have a weakness for fiber optics. Um, love them, love them, love them. Um, anything like color changing, I just think lights are they're super cool. But anyway, I ended up selling this bear for $34. Best offer. The buyer was all in for $42.80 and I got it at a garage sale for $1. This next item, okay, again, replacements, you guys. So the For Real Pets, these actually go to the For Real Dinosaur, and it's a bottle and a piece of broccoli. I could have sold them separate, but I knew they went together, so I went ahead and put them together. I ended up taking a best offer of 16 for these, and uh, the buyer was all in for 23.16. I pick up toys all the time. I think this was in like a little baggie of toys. So I've got probably 25 cents, 50 cents in these. The next item is this cat's meow. Um, it's uh, just like a little wood piece. It's You set up like villages. If you guys have been following me a while, you know I picked up a huge, huge lot of cat's meow at a garage sale. Really, really cheap. And this is a major bread and butter. But what's great about this is I had three of them. Okay. And if I click on three, you'll be able to see that... I sold two of them for seven and the other one for $7.19. So one listing. So if you look at it like what, $21 or $18? I can't do math. 18, wait, 714. No, 21. I was right the first time. So pretty good for like less than a dollar investment. The next item was my husband's pickup. If you guys watched um, the estate sale video where it says we split up, my husband and I went into an estate sale. He went one way, I went the other, and we both came out with a big bag of stuff. And I was like, on the way home, I'm like, we should do a video on this. So what we did is we unbagged our stuff um, on a video, and you guys can check out that video. I think it was super fun. I really like it when my husband gets involved and he does videos with me. Um, I did end up listing his stuff for him. So he kind of, you know, he doesn't list a whole lot on eBay. I basically um, do most of it, but it was fun. So he got these Tupperware sippy cups and I'm like, I didn't see those. And he sold these for $28.80. The buyer was all in for $37.14. And that was from an estate sale. So the address book that I showed you guys earlier, um, let me find it. I think it was this one. No. Nope. Here it is. This was from the same estate sale. So this was one of the items I picked up and he picked up the um, Tupperware. So pretty cool. The next item is this Ryan's Room dollhouse figure, Fairyland Friends. Uh, this came out of a mystery box. It was new old stock. So I looked it up. Nothing big money, but I, you know, I feel like when I look something up, I can hit sell similar and just list it. So even if it's a bread and butter, I'm okay with that. I ended up selling this for $9.50 and the buyer was all in for $16.31. And that came out of a thrift store toy box. So my cost of goods probably wasn't very much. The next item is this Dell mouse. I remember getting this. I got it at a garage sale. I really don't like to sell stuff like this, but it was still sealed. And I'm like, it's a buck. I'm just going to grab it. And I ended up selling it for $10.08. The buyer was all in for $16.20 plus shipping. Things like this, I don't get excited about. I don't feel like it's a treasure. Oh, I found a treasure, you know. Um, I like the vintage and fun things like this. So if you guys ha are not familiar with the Mark's Guns of Navarone playset, oh my goodness, you guys, I picked the whole playset up at a garage sale for $3. It's one of my best finds to date. Um, I had no idea what it was. I just... Uh, did a Google lens when I was at the garage sale and I was like, oh, wow. And it had all of these little parts and pieces. Um, the actual mountain 
had some condition issues. So I'm like, I'm going to part it out. I'm guessing when it's all said and done, I'm probably going to make between 700 and a thousand dollars on the parts from this. You guys, they are just, it, it was just an amazing find. And I paid three bucks for it. I had no idea what a treasure I had <laughs> until I got home and really started researching. So my cost of goods for this item is probably 10 cents if that. And I sold this for $30 and the buyer was all in for $34.45. And when I say all in, that is taxes and shipping, sales tax, which eBay collects on our behalf and sends to the state, if you're not familiar with that. Okay, you guys, another one you guys would probably not even mess with, but this is a Hello Kitty, um, it's a McDonald's toy. But what's cool about this is it glows in the dark and I had two of them. So I just decided to list them separately because they glow. I sold one for $6.50. The buyer was all in for $11.55. Um, I think I found the first one. And then I think later on, I found another one. I can't remember how that worked, but I still have one left. The next item is this Ninja Turtle. And again, you guys, some of you are not going to mess with the smalls like this, but he's not very big. See here. But I did, and I sold him for seven bucks, and the buyer was all in for $12.82, and I picked that up in a big lot of toys at a garage sale. The next item is this Oinking Pig. It's by Jemmy. Um, I always pick up things that are animated. I think they're fun, and they usually sell well. Here it is, right here, so people can see how it works. I believe I got this at, let me see, a garage sale for a buck. And the buyer offered me 17 and they were all in for 25.80. And if I remember correctly, that one went internationally. The next item I sold is this Wild Grinders JJ action figure skateboard. So he's got a little skateboard here. I picked this up at a garage sale. I went to the garage sale. It was all new old stock items. One of the best garage sales I've ever been to. I bought everything and my cost of goods ended up being about $2 per item. Some of the items were big money bolos, so it really worked out. Um, I sold this one for $14.39. The buyer was all in for $22.09. And the last item is this vintage Taz mug. And this one is plastic. It's from 1993. Um, I sold this for $10.80. The buyer was all in for $19.18. And I got this at a garage sale for $1. There is a Tasmanian mug that is ceramic that is a big money bolo. So if you see these Taz mugs, definitely look them up because I know that there are some out there that go for a lot. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. There's going to be some videos popping up. So check out another video. My channel is basically about bolo items, items to be on the lookout for. Um, let me know if you have any questions. There's a whole bunch of links and stuff down in the description. So check those out. I'll pin some videos um, and leave me a comment of a hat emoji if you made it this far. Thanks for watching.